okay so right now james harden as usual he is unbelievable and i'm making this video to tell you why i think james harden got robbed maybe in the past for mvp and why he will probably continue to get robbed in the future and before i tell you why i want to tell you what inspired me to make this video real quick like a few weeks ago i saw this little meme thing on twitter basically saying james harden leaves statistics and points assists field goals made just, just all this crazy stuff and it showed tyrese crying based I, i'm gonna just show you because it's pretty funny what more do you want from me? <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, man, I saw that and I was dead because it's so funny, but it really made me start to think like, why does James Harden continue to get robbed? Like right now, it's hard, but why does, you know, why does he keep getting robbed? Why is he such an afterthought? If you look at his numbers, you look at his statistics, you look at everything, I mean, Everything says James Harden is an MVP, and he probably should have been MVP the last three, four seasons. And I know Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, but, but despite their seasons, James Harden could have easily taken those awards, but it, it just seems like you just don't want to give it to him. Well, I'll just simply say James Harden, he's not going to win MVP probably, and he hasn't won MVP because it's something called regular season syndrome. I mean, you've seen it the last two or three seasons. James Harden, he always has these crazy regular season numbers. I remember last New Year's Eve, this man had like 50 points, 15 assists, 15 rebounds, like this historic stuff. And it never seems to translate around May and June and that's when you need it most. Like imagine if that same performance I just told you about off the top of my head, that 50, well, 50 points, 15, 15. Imagine if LeBron did that. Like if he did that, the world, <laughs> I swear the world would just flip. Something, something crazy would happen to the world because you know LeBron James does this same stuff in the finals. This dude averages a triple double. James Harden, it doesn't, it never translates in the playoffs, and that's why he always gets snubbed. Now, I know I'm going to have people say, it's a regular season award. You shouldn't even have to account for the playoffs and all that stuff. But I, I, I never believe that. Like, it is a regular season award, but a lot of stuff goes in, you know, to the MVP. The story, the record, a lot of your history. I think a lot of stuff goes, it's, it's not just a regular season. You can't tell me that because if that's the case, LeBron would have at least six or seven MVPs and he only has four. And with James Harden, he has a legit record of choking in the playoffs and you look at his regular season stuff like, yeah, yeah, we've seen all these numbers, these stats, 30, 10, and 10, 30, 15. All oh, James Harden at 40, 15, and 15. And it might be unfair, but it's like, yeah, we've seen this before, but can you do it in the playoffs? And he has a legit record of choking in the playoffs. In the NBA Finals in 2012, I said this in one of my previous videos, but in the Finals, he shot 48 shots in five games. He went 18 for 48. He shot 48 shots in five games. That's nine shots a game. Like, that's nine shots a game. And you could say he's a six man, but he had ample opportunities because he's a six man for a reason so he can get his opportunities. And he he just wasn't shooting the ball. That That's choking like stuff. I don't care if you miss, but when you look like a whole different person and you don't even want to take the attempts, that's when it looks like the moment is too big. In 2015, in the Western Conference semifinals, when the Clippers blew a 3-1 league in game six, when the Clippers blew a 19-point, man, the Clippers, they're pathetic, man. They're, they blew a 3-1 league in game six, they threw a 19-point league too. But anyway, in that game, the, the Rockets came back from 19 points down. And like I said in that, you know, my other video, you would think James Harden had something to do with the comeback, but he didn't. He basically had nothing to do with it. In that game, James Harden only made five field goals as the superstar, while the Houston Rockets came back and Coy Brewer, Jason Terry, they all was making those shots. He only had five field goals and everyone else, they had like a plus minus of plus 10 and up. This man had a plus minus of minus 20. Minus 20 and he was the superstar. While they came back, he was the worst. So that's a choke right there. Then later that season in the Western Conference Finals when they played the Warriors in a game five, basically their backs were against the wall. This man came out and scored 14 points with 10 of them coming from the free throw line. So he only had two field goals in a game five closing game. So to me, he just never, he's not the same player when you need him most. And oh my God, the icing on the cake. Last year in the Western Conference semifinals when they played the Spurs without Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard, this man had like 10 points. This man shot like two for 11. This man had a plus minus of minus. I don't, I don't even want to get into the statistics because I'm done with that. This man literally choked without, Kawhi Leonard wasn't even there. They were home like, this man, he's not the same player in the playoffs. And until he proves that he can be that same player, nobody cares about this regular season stuff that he always does in November, December. Like, nobody cares about that. And, you know, I hate saying a player choked because 
I only say a player choke when they're not the same player. Like they, they look like they don't even want to take the same shots that they usually take. And they just, they're not the same player. Like, I don't care if you miss Russell Westbrook when he, you know, last year when he was gassed and all that stuff. I don't care about that because he's giving it everything he has. And that's Russell Westbrook. You're going to get the same player. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get the same player with James Harden in November and in May because he's proven to not be that same guy. I mean, think about it like this. In the Western Conference, you know who has the best record? It's not the Warriors, it's not the Spurs, it's the Rockets, but like Charles Barkley always says, no one cares about that because no one really believes in the Rockets, and a part of that is because of James Harden. Like Until, like I said, they start winning in the postseason, they're not going to get that respect, and that's why James Harden, to me, that's a big reason why he probably gets robbed. So if Kyrie Irving, if the MVP comes down to Kyrie Irving and James Harden and Kyrie Irving has a record of plus 60, like if the Celtics have 60 plus wins and James Harden has his record, I think the MVP voters, I think they're going to give it to Kyrie Irving because, you know, Kyrie Irving, he's proven he's a champion. He's shown that he can do it in the biggest moments. James Harden, it's, it's man, I, I don't want to keep going in on James Harden because I like him as a player. But like I said, man, he has to prove that he can do it in the biggest moments before he can start getting these awards. Because it's like, he, you, I know you guys heard of uh, uh, voters fatigue. Like, they always say voters fatigue, but they say that for the winners like Peyton Manning, LeBron James, uh, Tom Brady, players like that. James Harden, he's never even won it, but it's like he has voters fatigue because we've seen this so many times. Like, do it in the playoffs, bro. But anyway, wrapping up this video, that's a big reason to me why he keeps getting robbed, snobbed, and blah, whatever you want to say. That's why he doesn't win because they don't trust this man, his game to translate into the playoffs. We've seen his regular season stuff before. He has to do it in the bigger moments before people really start taking James Harden completely serious and giving him these awards that he probably deserves, especially for the regular season. If you guys like the video, like the video. I know I'm going to get some backlash for it, you know, as usual, what I always do. But this is just my opinion. Like I said, like, if you like the video, like the video. Follow all of my social media sites. That's how you keep up with me. Do all that great stuff, guys. And until next time, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.